If they ever do Korodi, I'm done. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tail Film Nation? It's me, the Tail Film Watcher here again, and this is the finale of Clash of the Elite Season 3. Yes, we're now at the finale. <laughs> wow, it's been a wild ride because. The fans of Clash of the Elite is just wild <laughs> in every possible way. The light novel community, Reddit, Twitter, fans, you know, like, yeah, anime fans, you know. The anime fans seem to have, you know, liked the anime. That's from my perspective, you know, just anime people actually like the anime of Clash of the Elite, but that doesn't mean all of them like it, but yeah. Generally, though, the Clash of the Elite anime, you know, anime fans does seem to like it, though. But light novel community, not so much. <laughs> okay, so I'm only going to do one comment of the week because this is the finale. So I'm going to take a look, run through all the comments from the last episode. And yeah, my challenge for you guys, the episode one of season three is the only one left that has not reached the goal. There's a twist on my challenge as well, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to see who are the real uh the real ones of uh on my channel that actually, you know, <laughs> want to compete with uh, my giveaway for Clash of the Elite. But uh, yeah, we're now entering the finale, the final scenes of the novels, not really final scenes. They are moved scenes, but um yeah. Well, let's just uh, jump right into this. I mean, I'm not going to recap. Last episode was just good purely for the Horikita siblings. And that's mainly the focus that we need. I mean, there's no need for other things to get uh, mixed in. And that's what I'm glad about. They only focused on Suzune and Manabu, their relationship. So, yeah, that's all I asked. And I'm glad that they took that direction. And let's see what uh, the moved scenes are. You know, the Hiyori date, the Ryuen... Uh, and they had a Koji meetup, and then the uh, the bathroom scene or restroom scene with the boys, Kanzaki, Ryuen, and Hashimoto, and uh, other stuff. The Ichinose scene as well. So um, yeah, and let's see if they're going to adapt Suzune challenging Ayana Koji. So yeah, for year two. All right. So anyway, let's uh, jump right into this. Anyway, we cannot forget the final. <laughs> comments of the week and um yeah let's um end this with a bang and uh after i i upload this uh, a few hours later i will upload my amv so stay tuned for that one although the uh the subtitles or the captions for the lyrics aren't ready yet so yeah <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, let's just jump right into this. From at Partup Bejai, I don't know how to pronounce this. Behai, Bejai, Bejai. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry if I butchered that. Five forty-eight. That's what I'm saying too. Some light novel adaptations need to have cut content and maybe, unfortunately, a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, because of the slow pacing, Clash of the Elite unfortunately falls in that category, and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, agreed. But fingers crossed, year two, Kadokawa and Lurch decides to adapt two volumes for one season. Okay, so my opinion on this one is that, like I said, they will obviously do uh, four volumes per season because it has arcs. Arcs that have main antagonists in it. So I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty confident that they will adapt the first four volumes of year two as season one of year two, Flash with the Elite. So... Yeah, because it's the same antagonist, and then 4.5 up to volume 7 will be the next antagonist, which I'm not even going to go into because it's spoiler territory, but uh, yeah. Anyway, you get my point. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, and I don't know if I'm right on the money. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, the comments of the week, and don't worry, I've read all of your comments, and uh, yeah. Thank you to everyone that have supported and commented and liked all of my reactions of Flashman Elite so far. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the best. And, uh, yeah. 
let's hope for season uh, four slash year two season one and uh, let's just see how they'll handle it because uh yeah so yeah that's what i'm saying um the adaptations need to have some cut contents if not most of the cut contents are just for s solely for the book itself because visually it represents boredom and at the same time there's no need to adapt the whole thing as long as you get the context out it's there yeah no need to further emphasize it and unlike in the novel it's purely emphasized and that is what the light novels strong point is is that you have so much details that you can only read through the words of the novel that's the power of the light novels and yeah but in visual representation in adaptation forms you have to entertain the people for the whole 20 minutes so yeah and classroom of the elite is unfortunately one of those things that you have to cut out a lot just like Mushoku Tensei and yeah from what I've heard from the fans as well Mushoku Tensei tends to cut out a lot but for anime only it's it doesn't feel rushed or cut they cut up many you know that's why to me back in the day I thought Mushoku Tensei was one of the best adaptations but people have commented on my comment that uh, Mushoku Tensei tends to cut out a lot and yeah so, as you can see as an anime perspective it's fairly good you know it's very good honestly so yeah because you're not bored and at the same time you were entertained and that's what visual adaptations needed to do so yeah anyway patreon shout out we now have three members over on my patreon yeah Jack Nine Art is the newest member, and uh, yeah, thank you for supporting me over on my Patreon. Martian Rogue Knight as well for continuing to support me over on my Patreon. They get the early access and at the same time the full reactions and the AMV, the first main arc of my AMV. So anyway, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn to post notifications on the new episode. And in my future, this drop loads is on the channel. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. But before we go there, I'm still gonna do more. Uh, honest feelings one last honest feelings in review and that is it that's the end of my classroom of the elite videos and uh yeah but we'll see if they'll announce year two season one so um yeah. anyway the finale the confession is here and based on the thumbnail on musasia it is the confession the finale <laughs> so yeah anyway Without being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's just get right into it. I'm a bit late, Lamau. <laughs> Love is the best teacher, so that literally is the, the translation. Okay. He already did! Let's go! <笑>なよバックとクラシー。相手の体調不良を促すような真似は明らかに失策です。そこまで分かっていて止めなかったのか。素直に聞く人だと思いますか？No。どっち？Okay。流園への伝言を頼まれてくれるか。はい。何なり
Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> no wonder why they didn't skip the opening. Lamel. <laughs> LOL. Oh. <laughs> and so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> but not girls? What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god, I. I. Oh. <laughs> Now I do remember <laughs> he's being an a <laughs> He's teasing her a lot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. So he's just teasing her a lot. Oh, wait. He didn't do the adaptation of uh, him provoking Ryuin about Ayana Koji. Okay. Okay. Okay, they kept the dialogue. That's great. <laughs> oh, okay. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Oh, okay, they didn't adapt the the illustration. <laughs> That's to be expected. Ah! They adapted this. I knew it. <laughs> they did adapt it. <laughs> oh my god. But nope. No thanks. Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are both weirdos, huh? Damn, I can't believe they adapted that as well. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay, here it is. No wonder why it's raining. Huh? Oh, they didn't adapt uh, like that of uh, no huh? illustration. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen even in the future, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. I thought they were gonna cut it. <laughs> Is he even gonna do that? That? <laughs> yeah, under did the lips. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna do that though. Let's see though. Well, we'll see about that, Ichinose. In year two, you needed a push. More push. Oh! Yep. Yep。次の人だね。綾野光司君って。1年後の今日、こんな風に会わないか。俺と2人きりで。お。これから1年間を迷わず突き進んで、俺と会う。約束してくれるか。もしかしたらその時私は私たちのクラスは関係ない。伝えようと思っている言葉をその時に伝えることを約束する。この1年全力で戦う。そしてAクラスを目指すって。未来は確定しない。だが、もしも一ノ瀬が没落してしまうよ。Ayana Koji is actually foreshadowing year 2 now.
Um, what? Um, okay, they may. Okay, whatever. <laughs> best girl, the true best girl. <laughs> Listen, someone interfered. Hmm. Oh, yeah, he's onto it. お前はこれからどうするんだ。もう少し休暇を楽しむつもりだ。それに飽きた。ローミングアップに一ノ瀬と酒屋なぎを潰す。それ。いや、ノー。ああ、ケンブリーフでイデダトゥ。オッケー。
前のコウジ君の実力を知ってるから特別視してるのそんなんじゃないあなたたち二人の関係って何なのん何のようだこれから A クラスを目指すにあたって、oh! They're doing it like this? Okay, a phone call? Fine. Dog up in the Oreno Iteni Nariatsua, Storimoi Nai. Then Yoko does the Imiga Naina. Tamesa said, Do you have the Tamesu? Okay, they did it like this. Okay, here we go. So they are really teasing year two. Season one. Ain't no way they're not going to adapt year two now. Ain't no way they're not going to adapt year two now. Do you will keep them me, Kasha? So they are my mom. <laughs> Confident, are we? Yeah. We'll see about that. You sure about that? Oh, they're playing it in the background. Okay. Better than playing. What? Fuck no. Hell no. I don't accept this. Why would they do this? They brought up the opening and they're rolling credits? There's a lot more. There's like five minutes. There's like five minutes more. The anime literally did. Yeah, let's blitz it. I mean, that's the point. How can they cram a lot of content, man? Here we go. Final scene. <laughs> she took off the necklace. <laughs> yeah. You're busy? Hmm. <laughs> なんか感じ悪いって言うか、カフェの時からあんたにしちゃうだうだしてるって言うか、佐藤さんからあんたとの関係をいろいろ疑われてるんだけど。俺も松下から、お前との関係を疑われた。は？嘘でしょ？松下
ているのだろうか。What? They did that? いいの。Please, I prayed. 今この瞬間、大切な人を抱きしめている俺は、微笑んでいるのだと。OK! Okay, okay, they didn't do Kore D. Finally, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, after so long. Okay, they did it. They did it. They did it. Finally, no edgy scene for that moment. No edgy scene. No edgy scene. <laughs> Except for Ichinose. <laughs> okay, I, I do know why they did that to Ichinose's scene. Why they made him edgy. I'm not gonna go into spoiler territory because this is anime territory. So I'm not gonna go that, that far. So if you wanna know, go read the novels. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they kept the monologues. They kept his inner thoughts. Please, I prayed. Smiling, etc, etc. Yeah. I can't believe they showed the white room with many students. What? Not students. Experiment students. There you go. Season 3 of Clash of the Elite is officially done. I wonder if there is a season 4 or year 2 season 1. They didn't even tease the uh, the next students. You know, like a silhouette or some sort. But anyway, at least I'm glad that they adapted every thing that I needed for <laughs> this season but not all of it obviously most of it though okay so I will give Classroom of the Elite season 3 okay here's the thing I prefer over the course of the season of Classroom of the Elite I prefer this season much more sure they blitz through the volumes the books but you gotta admit they handled it so well in an anime perspective they handled it so well. Much better than season two. Season two is a crisis, jeez. If you, like, you have any idea, like, three episodes per volume is just not enough. And then one episode for the finale for volume 7.5 alone is just not enough. And at the same time, how many episodes did they outsource? Episode two is outsourced. Episode four and five is outsourced. Episode seven and eight is outsourced. Like, bro. Episode 10 is outsourced. Episode 11 is not outsourced, right? So, yeah, you got my point. There's a lot of outsourced episodes compared to this season. They only outsourced, like, three or two? Yeah, three. Three, right? Three outsourced episodes, and I am totally fine because they'll fix it in the Blu-ray anyway. So, yeah, but Shaft's outsourced episode, last one. Is very good, so I'm not complaining on that outsource because it has consistent animations and visuals. So, yeah, this one has a lot of consistency when it comes to visuals and animations, but there are some minor nitpicks for me that they really had to speed run it because there's not enough time, and I completely get it. Like, give them at least 15 episodes or 20 episodes, but 20 episodes seems a lot, you know, for this for this series. But yeah, 15 episodes at max. I hope they do 15 or 16 episodes. Like, that's enough for me. That's enough for an adaptation. If you're going to do this kind of pattern, four or five volumes per season, yeah, I think 15 or 16 episodes is enough for me. So, yeah, I will give this Clash of the Elite Season 3 as a whole, anime perspective and light novel perspective, a 9.5 out of 10. Because so far, for me... I have been very positive on season three so far compared to season two. I've been, there are certain episodes where I was so negative. Like I've been very pessimistic on some certain episodes. Like episode five of season two was just so bad. <laughs> A slideshow of sports festival. Like that is so bad and it's outsourced. And then yeah, speed run, like animation inconsistencies, visuals inconsistencies. Season 3 has those, but it doesn't have that much. But to Season 1, when I went back to Season 1, they have a lot of inconsistencies that many people just disregard because they wanted to bash the recent adaptation of Clash of the Elite. People didn't realize it, but Season 1 has some inconsistencies. So, yeah. Anyway, 9.5 out of 10. 
for anime only, I also give this a 9.5 out of 10. And then light novel perspective, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Combined, it would be 9.25, but I'll just give it a 9.5 out of 10 as a whole. This is much better. This is so much better. This season has a mix of feelings, mix of emotions, you know, from the fans. And for me, I'm really satisfied for this season. Volume 8 was boring to me, so the the speed run was okay to me. People aren't okay with it, but that's beside the point. <laughs> anyway, though, uh, thank you for supporting me on my Classroom of the Elite reactions. And thank you for the people that are the real ones and at the same time, people that have also loved or liked the anime along with me. Because even though we are light novel fans or light novel readers, we have been open-minded when it comes to Clash of the Elite. If we do, if we do see something that is bad, like the edgy scenes of Yana Koji, bad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, though, that is it for now. Um, thank you for the support, and I can't wait for year two, season one, or season four of Clash of the Elite if they ever make one. I hope they do because they are teasing it. So season four, or year two, season one has to be. Uh, coming out so it has to come out so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on my honest feelings and review and then watch out for the amv because it's coming out soon so yeah anyway see you guys then peace out